a tough loss for the Steelers last night after they came from behind. And today, some Steelers fans are upset about Chase Claypool's celebration during the final drive in last night's game against the Vikings. Josh Taylor's in the studio tonight to explain why some people say it wasted time. Josh. Well, Christine, we all want a little bit more time during the day, right? Well, Steelers fans felt the same way during the fourth quarter last night against the Vikings, and it's this play by Chase Claypool that has them wondering if they could have had more time for one last play at the end of the game. It happened during the final drive. On fourth down, Ben Roethlisberger throws to Claypool for a first down, but the Steelers are out of timeouts, and the clock keeps running. After the play, you see Claypool linger for a little while to point the ball for a first down. Offensive lineman Trey Turner comes over to take the ball and get it back to the official. Eventually, the Steelers get lined up for Big Ben to spike it and kill the clock. But did Claypool's actions cost them more time? What happened during those seconds that ticked away on the field? Claypool was asked about that after the game, and this is his version of what happened. Definitely got to be better. Uh, I got tackled near the hash, did my little first down point, and... Uh, Went to hand the ball to the ref. He, he had just got there. Um, so even if I got right up and looked for him, he wasn't there. So he, he ran down the field to come get the ball, and the ball got knocked out of my hands. That's what cost us time. Um, but I definitely do have to be better. Now, this is another situation worth noting with Claypool. In the first quarter, Claypool was called for personal foul after putting his hand inside a Viking player's helmet, and then head coach Mike Tomlin eventually benched Claypool for a few plays afterward. Josh Taylor, KDKA Sports.